Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about the basics of hot tub plumbing. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so many of you will have watched lots of videos on my channel or read about the blog. And what I do is I help people design and build their own DIY hot tubs. However, some of my videos are certainly helpful to regular hot tub owners that are looking to either repair or upgrade their own tubs. So this video, I'm gonna keep things really, really basic. I'm gonna try and explain it in the most simplest terms possible for how a hot tub plumbing system actually works. Hopefully this video will be, you will find this useful if you've got a problem that you're trying to fix or really if you're just trying to get your head around how a hot tub plumbing system works. So let's start at the basics. We've got to have water that is gonna leave the tub and it's got to enter the pump. Now, most hot tub pumps will have the, the inward suction from the front of the, the actual hot tub pump. Normally you would have two, I'll call them drains, but they're really inward suctions that are feeding the pump. Now the reason that you have two is the industry standard for safety. So that if one's blocked, there's still enough flow going into the pump that it doesn't overheat and get damaged. So you start with those two suction drains at the bottom of your hot tub that are gonna feed the water into the hot tub pump. Now the pump could be a circulation pump or it could be a dual speed jet pump. And this really depends on the, the, the type of hot tub that you have, or if you're building one, the design that you're gonna go for. The benefits of a circulation pump is that you can move all of the elements that are gonna get in the way of the water and increase the flow onto one kind of separate system. So by that, I mean the filter, the heater, any sanitization systems that you're gonna add, all of these reduce the flow rates and these work better on a small pump that's moving the water slowly around purely to heat, filter and sanitize your hot tub. So we've got the water coming into, we'll call it the circulation pump. And from there, it's gonna leave either the side or the top of the pump and it's gonna head over to your filter. From your filter, which will have a bypass valve at the bottom. So filters are directional, so they have an in and an out. In comes from the pump, out goes towards the heater and the spa pack. So once the water comes out of the filter, it then goes into the spa pack through passing over the heater and pretty much all hot tub spa packs have electric heaters inside. Now with the emergence of air source heat pumps and uh, auxiliary heating like gas or propane, it is actually possible to disconnect the electrical heater, but you're still gonna want that spa pack because it controls your filter cycles, it controls your purge cycles, and it controls how you turn on your jets and your blowers as well. So out of the bottom or the side of that spa pack, you can then head over to any auxiliary heating that you have. So whether it's an air source heat pump or whether it's a propane heater. And then from that auxiliary heater, you'll then go back through some regular returns. It's not normal that your circulation pump would be on your jet system. It would have its own inlets that are gonna go back into the hot tub and this is just for the heating and the filtering and this is the best way of doing things. Now if you have a dual speed pump in your hot tub the chances are that you will know because you only have one pump in there pretty straightforward however the low speed runs on the circulation and the high speed runs on the jets so what that means is when the jets are running the water won't be filtered because it'll be using that bypass so the flow isn't restricted and your water is going straight back into to the hot tub there. Now, if you are on a separate circulation pump, then your jet pump will simply have two suction inlets. Again, two for industry standard and safety. The water goes in through the front of the pump, out through the side and back into the hot tub via the jets. And that's how we get the jets to work. 
If you're on a plastic shell tub, certainly the larger ones, you may have two or three jet pumps as well as a circulation pump. And this is all down to the amount of flow that is needed to power the jets. The more jets you have, the more flow you need. And a pump has a maximum amount of flow that it can actually deliver. So you have to be mindful with the number of jets that you have versus the output of the pump, and you can work out how many jets you can actually power. And this is, of course, something that I can help you with. If you're not sure, hit me up in the comments, get in touch via the website, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So we've dealt with a circulation pump, we've dealt with a jet pump, so what about the blower? Well, the blower is simply a very large, we'll call it large hairdryer. It works in exactly the same way. So it just sucks air in through the back and it then forces it through the air lines into the hot tub. On your plastic shell tubs, you might have dedicated pepper pot feeds that are just for air, so you only have the air coming out. You can get heated blowers. The heated blowers will have zero impact on the temperature of your hot tubs. So let's just get that straight from the start. All it is is so that it's not blowing cold air uh, through, the, through the actual jets and, the, uh, and the, the pepper pot inlets. On our DIY tubs, whether they're concrete, gunite, ICF block, all of those different materials, the actual jets are called gunite jets and through the gunite bodies, the air and the water mix. You also get some plastic shell gunite bodies and again, the air and the water mixes. And by the process of Venturi, the water passes over a hole in the gunite body and it draws the air in and it just gives a stronger, more bubbly jet that we're accustomed to in our hot tubs. Should also point out that the air and the water lines do mix. So you will find that there is a check valve on your blower and that just stops the water flowing back into the blower. Heating element, electric water, they don't mix and it will trip your breaker. So you will have that check valve in there as well. So the plumbing systems are quite straightforward on your hot tubs. If you have any questions at all, please do hit me up in the comments, please get in touch. I've tried to keep this video as short and as simple as possible to give you a overview of how a hot tub plumbing system actually works. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.